Hi traders, take a look at NVX, the stock is down more than 10%. Now, when the stock is gapping down that much, over 3%, you expect a gap and go, meaning a continuation. Meaning, if you expect it to come down, you can short it in order to make money from the fact that it's going to continue coming down. Now, that's the third minute, and as you can see, it's a nice technical formation. Try to move higher, took out the buyers. Now, I'm going to short 2,000 shares, and I'm shorting right now. Now, I'm expecting a breakdown under the lows. I did get the breakdown under the lows. I was expecting expecting a big move under the lows. It came down, it reached my target, it touched 83.80 as you can see right here, right now, it's touching the lows, but really I just didn't get the chance to take my partial. It just happened too quickly. I was expecting a continuation, I was trying to get a little bit more, but I did not. So what went wrong? Well, so far nothing because it hasn't touched my stop, but my stop is over the highs and I'm down, as you can see here, $2,000 and sadly it's moving higher, $3,000, about to touch $4,000 right now and I'm moving out. I had my stop over the highs, it's not a hard stop, never use a hard stop, that's a different lesson, we should talk about it in a different uh, video. But right now it moved higher, it took me out and instead of having a very nice uh, uh, 4,000 or so winner, I have a $4,000 loser. So what went wrong? Nothing. The stock did move down. The expectation was that it will move down, and it did. But, you know, it's one of the rare occasions where it reaches my target, but just didn't give me a chance. Or maybe I was a little bit greedy, and I was hoping for a little bit more everything. But it did gap and go. But now, the fact that it's moving higher does not suggest that it's going to continue higher or much higher. It's just a matter of timing. So if a stock is going the wrong way with a huge gap of 10%, now it's about 8%, 8.5% uh, uh, or so, you expect it to continue lower, although it may happen later. So sometimes it's just the timing. I got the wrong timing. And one more important thing to notice here, I shorted it at a quantity which is normally around 50% of my regular quantity. Now, why is that? Because it's a, it's a volatile stock and it's the third minute. And you know what? I was a little bit concerned about this trade. So I took half of my normal size. Now, it did move lower. I did not get my chance. And now, although I took uh, just half size anyway, I'm out and I'm having a losing trade and now I'm waiting for the second opportunity in NVAX because it's down that much and then again although it took me out and I must have a hard stop and I did move at my stop now I need to wait for another opportunity and here comes the second opportunity. About to take my second trade, take a look at what happened 18 minutes into the trading session. It tried to move higher and failed. Now the first time that's where it took me out, the second time it failed. Now when a stock is leaving a topping tail at a new high, it's one of the strongest ever reversal modes. You stock is moving to a new high, leaving a topping tail. Remember that it's one of the strongest reversals. I'm about to show 4,000 shares, beautiful technical formation. And it's about to fail again. And I'm short now 4,000 shares. Now, the reason I'm short 4,000 instead of 2,000 is not because I'm trying to get a revenge trade. It's because it's 18 minutes into the trading session. Now it's proving to me that it wants to come down. At this point right now, that's the proof that it failed to move higher. Again, the stopping tail at the highs and the very high likelihood that this trade is going to succeed right now. Now, again, just remember, there's two indications here. One, the stock is down more than 10%. Therefore, normally will gap and go. Second, it tried to move higher twice and it failed. First time when it took me out, it moved over the highs. Then it tried to come down again, tried to move higher, touched a new high, left a topping tail. That's the second indication. And then now it's consolidating, going sideways and very, very likely to come down. It's slowly moving lower. It's getting very close to the lows. It's a fast forward. Notice the breakdown just about to come. Here comes the breakdown. How beautiful can this be? So just came down under, I'm up uh, seven grand, eight grand and nine grand and I'm about to take my partial, about to cover 3,600 shares. Now left 400 shares for the continued run and it did continue. 
take a look at uh, the way it moves even lower I only have left 400 shares and I'm looking for the point where it will be too extended to the downside and we are getting there and now I'm covering another 300 shares leaving just 100 and uh, it did continue now if you take a look at NVAX again notice the stock now is down 14% Please remember, a gap which is bigger than 3% is likely to take it even lower. So the first trade, right, that was just not the right timing. It didn't work out. Not that it did not touch my target price, but again, I had a loser. Does that mean I should not take a second trade? It doesn't mean so. The stock is likely to come down. So if you have a nice second technical formation, you can add more size not because again you're looking for a revenge trade but because the fact that you have a nice technical formation and again I go back there and remind you of uh, the way try to move higher and the topping tail again remember the strongest possible indication in technical analysis is when stocking is stock is moving to a new high or a new low with a topping tail or a bottoming tail and then changes direction and once it proved to me it changes the direction and I have a nice technical formation I can definitely at this point add more size the reason for that again not a revenge trade but the fact that it's proving to me that it wants to go my way and you add everything together the direction of the market the stock uh, technical formation the fact that it's down more than 10 percent and then it's just likely to succeed and that was my second trade and I more than covered my, the loss in my first trade and here is the end result as you can see I had uh, three winning trades today however NVAX is in fact hiding a loser and a winner however my winner was uh, more than double than my loser it's double quantity too so the end result is great just under twelve thousand dollars I really enjoyed my day I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a like you can also subscribe to my channel right over here and please don't forget trading in, secur in securities is extremely hard very risky please don't risk more money than you can afford to lose start with the demo there's plenty of links here below you can uh, download a Colmex demo account so just don't risk your own money and you know looking at my results I have to say this is very not typical most traders lose money I normally make money well yesterday I lost ten thousand dollars but I normally make money and this is not typical Again, remember, it's extremely hard and especially when you're starting out as a trader, you are very, very likely to lose money. I want to thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.